Puff Daddy P. Diddy, mama said he didn't do it. He said, y'all are lying on him. His son made a mistake. Her, his son, her son is being lynched. Y'all trying to take everything away from his ba her baby. As if you was going to tell us he's guilty, man. And, and the lawyer said, a lawyer said, there's a nine-year-old victim among 120 of Diddy victim. I, it, it, this, this nine-year-old, little Michael is nine. I need to put a nine-year-old picture up here. Why was a nine-year-old child alone with a grown man for that nine-year-old child to be a victim, lock the mama up, lock up the daddy. Cause I don't understand how y'all leaving y'all babies with strangers, people y'all don't know. Lil Michael is nine. What, what do I look like leaving my nine-year-old baby with a grown ass stranger man that I don't know? Lock, the mama needs to be locked up too. Mama needs to be locked up. Oh. Anyways, hey cousins, I'm off this week, but I'm having bad hair day. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna color my hair today and go get it braided up tomorrow. So y'all will see me tomorrow, okay? After I do my hair, after I get my hair braided, okay? I'm getting professionally done this time for my birthday. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my community tab. I post a lot in there. Sometimes I see little stuff in social media and I, I just kind of clip it and post it because I want to hear what you guys have to say. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you and welcome back to all of my wonderful cousins and shout out to all the new cousins. I absolutely love you. I adore you. Let's jump into this article where did his mama say he didn't do it as if he was going to say he did it, ma'am. By People's Magazine, did his mom claims there's a public lynching of my son. Admit he's not perfect. You're right, he ain't perfect. Ain't nobody perfect, but honey, there's a lot of people saying what he did. Okay, so it's a Sean Diddy calls mother released a statement in support of her son as he faces federal S trafficking charges and a slew of civil suits calling his legal battles and the media scrutiny they've attracted as a punk public lynching of her son. Now, when I read this article, what her said, I I said, she didn't write that. Okay, she didn't write it. Did his lawyer wrote that for her child? There's no way that woman wrote this. Did his, did his, I was about to say, did his daddy. Did his lawyer wrote that? But, you know, at, at the end of the day, that's his mama, right? And God forbid any of our sons or kids get into stuff, we going to be, be at the courthouse like Whitney was with Bobby. Bobby, I love you! Okay? So let's just be real about it. So it goes on to say, Janice Coles released a statement through her attorney saying she was profoundly saddened by the allegations her son faces and asserting that he deserved a chance to prove his innocence in court. I'm, I'm sorry that Diddy is guilty. You know, we live in a country in the United States where you are innocent till proven guilty. Diddy is guilty. Wendy's been telling us for years. Janice Coles released the statement through his, her attorney. Uh, it says, it's... It is heartbreaking to see my son judge, not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies, Janice said in a statement. What kind of lies, ma'am? The only person that lied was Diddy. That said he didn't hit, hit Cassie, but then people talk about the black eyes and hello, the video. She also referenced the leaked surveillance footage of Combs appearing to assault ex-girlfriend Cassie uh, in terms of a video that prompted the mogul to, to later apologize to Cassie. And since the multiple others have sued the Bad Boy Records founder, accusing him of abuse. She goes on to say, I am not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. Janice Cole said he has made mistakes in his past, as we all have. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten violent with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. Sometimes the truth and the lie become a closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story, especially when the truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to believe. Her statement continued. <clears throat> 
This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Combe was indicted by federal charges September 17. Moving on down, watching the whole world jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. It is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconception without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his case. Janice Cohn suggests that accusers were making false allegations in order to secure a quick payday after seeing how her son settled the first lawsuit. Now, I'm going to say I do agree with that. I do believe some people was there. Nothing happened. You participated, but you're trying to get you some money. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies, lies, lies to prosecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. The worst part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserved the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. The indictment against Sean Colson is an alleged freak offs, which authorities describe as elaborate S performance and with male S workers and women who were forced or coerced into participating. Sean Colm is being held in federal custody in Brooklyn after he uh, was twice denied bail. Let's go to the other article. The other article about the nine-year-old son, and this is just really disgusting to me, like the mama and the daddy should be locked up. Because I, I don't understand why a nine-year-old child is being victimized by a grown adult. What was the child doing alone with the adult? Okay. Uh, nine-year-old, this is by Seven Eyewitness News. Nine-year-old among 120 victims in S assault lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. Attorney, attorney uh, says... Houston, right high professor Tony Bosby is vetting claims of assault made by more than 3,800 people from across the United States against hip hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Uh, <clears throat> let's scroll down to this one. Bosley intends to start filing civil lawsuit against Combs alleging violence as assault or R, rape, S, abuse, Lord, all these abuses. So far, Bill said he has vetted. The allegations of 120 individuals and accepted them as clients of the clients he has accepted. Boza says exactly half are men and half are women. My God, <clears throat> Jesus. He said 62% identify as African-American, 30% are white, 25% of his clients told the attorney that they were underage when they were victimized. He said a few of the clients are from Houston. The alleged assault happened over the last 25 years, but Busby said most have been since 2015. Busby said they have received pictures, videos, and texts from the clients. They have accepted to corroborate their stories. Some of them have already spoken to the FBI, and he said others might move forward depending on their level of comfort. He said his office has received more than 3,200 calls from the people who claim to be victims. They are working to vet these claims. They are now employing a former major offenders detected from Houston police to help them. Most of these events and is occurred at parties, typically after parties or album release parties in New York, 4th of July parties, Lord Jesus. This is why you stay at your house. Typically, the victim is lured into a situation where he or she is given a drink. Busby explained, typically, that drink reported by their victims is laced with something. Once the drink takes effect, the per perpetrators perform all kinds of S acts on the victims, many times passing him or her around as other people watch and enjoy the show, then leave. If they refuse to drink the drink, clients have told Busby that they were kicked out of the parties. Clients expressed that when they reach out afterward, they were told not to say anything and were sometimes threatened with physical financial harm. Another individual, 26, at the time of the occurrence was picked up allegedly by Mr. Combs and, severe, and several other people in a black SUV from the airport was given 
one drink in the SUV and then literally woke up the next day not knowing what happened, but with pain and damage to both her, her V and her A. Jesus Christ. He said, in other cases, the alleged assault happened at auditions or in studio. People wanted to break into the industry, were coerced into this type of con conduct in promise of being made a star uh, or the promise of having Sean Coles listen to their tape. Busby, youngest client, said he was nine years old when he was S assaulted by the Combs. Where was your daddy and your mama? This Israel was S abused allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio in the promise to both in the promise to both his parents and himself of getting a record deal. So was the parents there? This nine-year-old thing has real me have me really messed up because my nine-year-old still sleeps with us sometimes. Some most nights he run and jump in our bed. He hear a noise outside. He run and jump in our bed. As a matter of fact, he told us to, to move his bed from his bedroom and put it in our room. So my and the same baby I nursed until he was five. I'm trying to understand why was a nine-year-old alone with these predators to be abused. I don't understand. Please explain it to me. In addition to accusing Coles of taking part in assaults, Busby said there are a number of others, high profile people, banks, hotels, and pharmaceutical companies that will be listed as defendants. He said the corporate entities were paid in cash. He said they plan to go after people who engage in conduct, witnessed it, and did nothing to stop it, facilitated it, and anyone who helped cover it up. He said those individuals and entities will shock you. This is why I don't go to people's parties. I stay home. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs, and there's a lot of names, Busby said. It's a long list already. Busby plans to start filing suits in the next 30 days. He said this will not be a class action suit. Each case will be filed individually, primarily in New York and California. Combs lawyer Erica Wolf issued a statement to ABC following the news conference, saying, as Mr. Combs' legal team has emphasized, he cannot address every meritless allegation in which in what has become a reckless media circus. That said, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denied as false and defamatory any claim that he has abused anyone, including minors. He also, he looks forward to providing his innocence and vindication himself in court where the truth, well, if the people got the text messages of you threatening them, so you, you going to jail. You going to jail. I, I, I'm just confused about the nine-year-old, okay? Cousins, comment below. Let me know what you think. My cleaning service is coming tomorrow, so I'm, you know, pre-cleaning. <laughs> I'm pre-cleaning. Little Michael said, Mommy, if the cleaning service is coming, why are you cleaning? That is their job. Their job is to clean her house. Why are you cleaning? Like, you have to pre-clean. Move stuff out the way. Take up the flowers off the stairs. Get the rugs up. You know, I'm switching rugs out and stuff like that. All right. I love you. I love you. Comment below. Thank you for those of you showing me love and support. My birthday is on Friday. Uh, thank you for those of you who's already cash happy me, girl. I appreciate it. Love you. Thank you for showing me love on my books on Amazon. Leave me glowing five star review. Oh, by the way, by the way, I forgot. I forgot. I should have did this in the beginning to mention my new banner. Do y'all like my new banner? I think I'll probably talk about it when I do come live one day. I'm gonna try to come live. Do y'all like my? Do y'all like my new banner? Do y'all like my new banner? Let's see here. Stop sharing, present, share screen, and bam. Do y'all like my new banner? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love it. Comment below. I also love you. Uh, I'll talk with you later. Bye. Bye-bye-bye.